Hi there folks, welcome to another PyQGIS tutorial. Uh, today we're going to cover how to dissolve objects. So, if you remember a few tutorials ago, we learned how to use PyQGIS to buffer individual geometries. After that video, I received a request of how we can buffer, or not buffer, but how we can dissolve the result. And so our result, if you remember, looks something like this, where we get a buffer around each individual stream segment, and it's kind of broken, and um, we, don't, we don't have one piece that covers the whole stream network. And so the question is, how can we make all these multiple features into a single feature using Dissolve? And so that's what we'll cover how to do today. So the first thing I'll do is let's go back in and open up my uh, Python console here and open up the text editor and this is from the last tutorial so we'll just start a new script here All right. and the first thing I'm going to need is my input file name and this is C for me it's C temp buffer dot SHP and then let's make an output file name And we'll call this buffer dissolved all. So this will just be everything's dissolved. SHP. All right. And so the way that I'm going to do this, I'm actually going to do this in two different ways. Um, the first way is to take this file I'm showing here that's already been buffered and to dissolve it. The second is we'll just run buffer and we'll dissolve it in the buffer and so we only have to run one tool and not two. So first uh, I'll show you how we can do it this way. I'm going to import processing. And so if you watched uh, the recent tutorial about how you can use processing tools uh, in a Python script, that's how we're going to do this. So we're going to go processing.run. And this is going to be um, a native algorithm, and it's going to be buffer. And then here is where we are going to put oops, uh, all of our arguments or parameters for that buffer tool. And I made a mistake already. This should be dissolve. And this is pretty easy. All we're going to have is an input. And so this is going to be my input file name. This is the one I want to dissolve. And then we're going to have an output. This is going to be my output file. Okay. Um, we can add an argument in here for fields if you want to dissolve only on certain fields. And I can show you that next. But let's go ahead. I'm going to check my notes to make sure this is correct. And then we'll go ahead and run this. Okay, and uh, we need some single quotes around our parameter names. And then we can go ahead and click Run. And actually, let's just do this so that uh, we can see what happens when we do it. Out FN and OGR. All right, so that'll add it into our interface, and we can see how this looks. So let's go ahead and click Run. No errors. Here's our buffer dissolved all. I'm just going to close this for now. Um, and you can see that if I drag these, it covers the same extent. But um, there's one single uh, feature for this whole thing. We can go to our attribute table. And you can see there's one feature here. And if I go to this one, you can see that there are 296 here. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Let's go back into our browser and let me actually add in. That's not the one we want. We want stream order if I can find out where that is. Okay, I'm going to grab the stream order file, and that's the one I used to create the buffer from originally. And we'll throw that in here. 
We can remove this. And I'm just going to um, come in and change this to the symbology here to uh, categorized. And the column is going to be grid code. And uh, classify. Sure, that sounds fine. Let's change this so that it's just a little thicker. Okay, okay. So now what's going to happen is we're going to have a different color for each stream order. Okay, and I'm going to dissolve based on that. So what I should get are four separate polygons, maybe five if there's something that doesn't have a value in it. So let's open our uh, console back up. And we're going to just change this. Well, let's do, we'll make another out file name, out fn2. And this is going to be c temp buffer dissolve stream order dot shape. OK. And then let's actually just make a new processing run here as well. And this is going to be native. Uh, dissolve once again. And here we have our input, which is going to be NFN. And now I'm going to add a new field or a new argument. I'm actually going to backslash enter. So this is going to be fields and here we're going to give it a list of fields and I'm just going to give it grid uh, code here that's going to be in square brackets and then I'm going to give it my output which is going to be out fn2 okay and I'm going to double check this to make sure I have it right and this just should just be fill instead of fields Okay, and so I'm going to comment out this line of code for now. We don't need to run it. And I'm going to make this out fn2. And what I should get now is a buffer with that's been dissolved somewhat. So let's go ahead and, or I should get this dissolved into four categories uh, instead of one. So let's go ahead and click run. And I have a problem here. Let me just check out what this is. Okay, and it's a simple thing. I forgot to put a parenthesis on the end of this. So let's click Run. And there we go. So I'm going to close my Python console. And let's go ahead and open this up uh, as far as the attribute table goes. And so there you can see that I have four features, one for each different grid code. If I select this, it selects all those features that are up there. Okay, so that's how you dissolve those. All right, let's go ahead and clear that selection. I should just point out here that if you forget the code for this, or if you have a new tool you want to try, go to Processing, History, click on one of these tools, and it gives you the code here. So here's some code for dissolve. Right, and you can just copy that and adjust it so that you know what those parameters are. Okay, and so if you run that in QGIS, and then go to the history, it will have the code to run it there. All right, let's go back um, into our plugins and Python console. And so here I've showed you how you can use the dissolve tool. And I promised you I'd show you how we could just do this straight in the buffer tool. Okay, so let's uh, comment out these two lines of code. I can just select them and click this comment symbol. We don't need those right now. And we're going to come down and we're, well, first of all, let's make an out fn3. And this is going to be just with the buffer. So we're going to go c temp buffer dissolved. And we'll just call this just buffer dissolved. 
we're going to need a second input file name. It's going to go nfn equals c temp output stream order dot shp. And now we're going to come down and we're going to do processing dot run native buffer curly braces input nfn2 and here we want to do distance, this is going to be our buffer distance I think we did 20 meters for this one I'm going to backslash enter to start a new line um, Oh, we need to put a comma. I'm going to put a comma here first. Okay, come back down to this line, and then we're going to dissolve colon true comma output colon out fn3. Okay, and so that should do it for this. And let's go ahead and change this to out fn3 and I will double check this code to make sure we have it correct. Okay, so if you watched our buffer video, you'll notice that I'm skipping a bunch of different parameters like the end cap style, the join style, um, the number of segment points. I'm going to try this and see if it works and it may not and if it doesn't then we will go back and fix it. But let's just see what happens here. Uh, in FN2 is not defined. We need to make that in FN2. Let's click run again. Okay, and it looked like that ran, so let's see if our result looks like it should. Um, I'm going to close this and we can go take a look. So let's just turn this off. We've got our streams. Let's turn those off. And it looks like we have one feature here. Let's open up our attribute table. And sure enough, one feature. And so that dissolved the buffer from the beginning. All right. Um, so there you have it. That is how you can use the dissolve tool in QGIS, in PyQGIS, and how you can dissolve uh, straight from a buffer uh, without needing to run two tools. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have other suggestions for any videos on this channel, please let me know. I'm always glad to receive suggestions. Uh, as you know, I'm often slow at getting to those, but I do try to keep a list and keep track of all those good suggestions you guys give me. So once again, thanks for your interaction and giving me those suggestions, and thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day.